Wondering if the Holy Spirit is present in your life is a common query among believers. Many people at various stages of their spiritual paths ponder the activity of the Holy Spirit within them. Recognizing the Holy Spirit's signs in our daily lives is crucial. It's important not just to have knowledge of the Holy Spirit, but to deeply understand and experience His guidance. Allowing the Holy Spirit to guide you transforms life profoundly. Alongside, I'll share a potent prayer in Jesus' name, urging you to stay tuned till the end and prepare your heart for this prayer's blessings. The Bible provides clear guidance on recognizing the Holy Spirit's presence, as seen in Romans 8, 9, indicating that being guided by the Spirit is an essential aspect of faith in Christ. Additionally, Acts 2.38 underscores the Holy Spirit as a gift for those who repent and embrace faith, marking the start of a transformative spiritual journey. Picture engaging with a Bible that bears marks of your spiritual journey with highlighted passages and notes that reflect moments of faith, resilience, and redemption. Through reading, you find comfort in familiar passages and growth in new revelations. Every narrative and phrase in the Bible mirrors God's steadfast affection for us. Alongside that subtle prompt, the soft whisper in your heart, directing you towards a specific verse or enlightenment. This exemplifies the essence of being led by the Spirit. Discussing the Holy Spirit transcends referencing an abstract notion or indistinct concept. We refer to the Holy Spirit as God's promised, constant supporter in our existence. The Holy Spirit embodies God's vivifying essence, a potent force capable of altering landscapes. This Spirit acts as our advocate, accompanying us, our instructor unveiling truths, our solace in moments of sorrow, and our navigator through unknown terrains and tempests. As Jesus mentioned in John 14, 26, the Advocate, the Holy Spirit sent by the Father in Jesus' name, educates us on all matters and recollects Jesus' teachings. Throughout life's fluctuations, the Holy Spirit remains, adopting various roles to guide, educate, assist, and console us. In our faith journey, we understand that embracing faith transcends mere decision-making. It's accepting an invitation to a life imbued with Christ's power and love, experiencing renewed vigor, akin to that which enabled Jesus to perform wonders, heal ailments, and profoundly impact lives. Yet, as highlighted in Zechariah 4, 6, it's articulated that accomplishments stem not from human strength or might, but through God's Spirit. This principle underlines that divine empowerment enables us to achieve the extraordinary, mirroring Jesus' miraculous deeds and the healing narratives across the New Testament and the enthralling episodes in Acts showcasing the Holy Spirit's unmistakable presence. These accounts are not merely historical, but remain vibrant and pertinent, serving as reminders of the Holy Spirit's ongoing miraculous involvement in our lives. Hence, let us delve into identifying 10 indicators of the Holy Spirit's activity among us, starting with the transformation of character. Just as seasons transition, we too experience shifts undergoing transformations, both internally and externally. When the Holy Spirit is at work within us, we experience a distinct transformation, as described in Galatians 5, 22. 23, highlighting love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These qualities signal a profound change, reflecting God's grace in the influence of the Holy Spirit. This transformation is evident both in personal growth and in observing others resembling a garden blossoming with vibrant, fragrant flowers, where once only weeds thrived. This journey of transformation is neither immediate nor simple. It involves periods of struggle, doubt, and failure. The essence of our walk with God isn't in maintaining perfection, but in persevering through trials with the support of His strength and grace. Our faith isn't measured by the absence of challenges, but by our resilience and reliance on God during those times. The Holy Spirit plays a crucial role, nurturing and guiding us, shaping our character as a potter molds clay, and gradually aligning our desires with God's will, leading us from a self-focused to a Christ-focused life. Another sign of the Holy Spirit's presence is an increased desire to pray. Prayer is an intimate communication with God, a sharing of the soul's deepest melodies. However, there are times when words fail us, and it's in these moments that the Holy Spirit intervenes. 
As stated in Romans 8, 26, the Spirit assists us in our weaknesses, expressing our unspoken needs to God with profound understanding. This demonstrates the Spirit's role as an intermediary, conveying the silent cries of our hearts in a divine language known only to God. The beauty of prayer lies in its simplicity and the assurance that, even in silence, our deepest yearnings are understood. Every word, each narrative in the Bible, mirrors God's steadfast affection for us, coupled with that subtle push or the soft voice in your heart, guiding you towards a particular scripture or enlightenment. This exemplifies the essence of being led by the Spirit. Discussing the Holy Spirit transcends discussing a distant theory or abstract notion. We refer to the promised Holy Spirit, God's perpetual assistant in our lives. The Holy Spirit embodies God's vital breath, the power capable of moving mountains, serving as our supporter. Alongside us, the revealer of truths, the solace in our moments of sorrow, and the navigator through the uncharted and turbulent times. Jesus affirmed in John 14, 26 that the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will dispatch in my name, will instruct you in all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have conveyed to you. Through life's twists and turns, the Holy Spirit plays multiple roles, always guiding, educating, assisting, and comforting us in our journey as believers. We recognize that embracing faith transcends mere decision-making. It signifies an invitation to a life imbued with Christ's power and love, embodying the dynamism that enabled Jesus to perform wonders, heal the afflicted, and influence myriad lives. Yet as Zechariah 4.6 asserts, this empowerment is not by human might or power, but by God's Spirit, highlighting the Spirit's role in enabling us to accomplish remarkable feats, mirroring Jesus' miraculous deeds from the New Testament stories to the thrilling narratives and acts, showcasing the Holy Spirit's evident role. These narratives are not mere historical accounts, but are vibrant and pertinent today reminding us of the Holy Spirit's continuous, miraculous works in our lives. Today, let's delve into 10 indicators of the Holy Spirit's presence among us, starting with the transformation of character. In life, change is a constant. Similar to shifting seasons, we too experience transformations, both internally and externally. However, the Holy Spirit induces a unique form of change, as described in Galatians 5.22, 23, emphasizing love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control as manifestations of such transformation, evidencing a heart profoundly touched by God's grace and the Holy Spirit. This transformation, reflective of a garden blossoming from untamed weeds into vibrant, aromatic flowers, may not occur instantly or effortlessly, often accompanied by days of struggle, doubt, and failure. Yet it's essential to persevere through these trials, relying on God's unwavering strength and grace, for it's through resilience and dependence on Him amidst challenges that our faith is defined. The Holy Spirit cultivates our being, akin to a potter shaping clay, refining our character, and infusing the fissures with Christ's love, gradually orienting our desires from worldly to divine, transitioning from self-centric to Christ-centric living, marking one of life's most exquisite journeys. The second sign is the inclination to pray. Prayer represents a heart's melody, a divine exchange shared with the Creator. However, there will be instances when our voice wavers, when emotions cloud our thoughts and words fail us. It's within these silent interludes that the Holy Spirit intervenes, as Romans 8.26 eloquently illustrates, aiding in our weaknesses, expressing our innermost desires in a divine language understood solely by God, akin to a confidant who instinctively knows our thoughts, even when words elude us, underscoring the simplicity and profound nature of prayer, not necessitating grandeur or eloquence, but merely a genuine heart. Subsequently filled with the Spirit, he confidently addressed multitudes, fervently sharing the gospel. Similarly, as the Spirit operates within us, our innate abilities and spiritual gifts are not only revealed, but also honed and deployed for God's glory. The sixth indicator is a heightened sense of compassion. Compassion transcends mere emotion. It represents the abundance of God's love within our hearts. 
according to Romans 5, 5, hope is fulfilling because God's love has been abundantly bestowed in our hearts through the Holy Spirit granted to us. This divine love transforms us, inspiring genuine concern for others. The parable of the Good Samaritan illustrates this transformation, showing compassion for a stranger as a manifestation of a heart influenced by divine love. It's critical to distinguish between superficial acts of kindness and genuine compassion rooted in a profound relationship with God. The Good Samaritan exemplifies this distinction. The Holy Spirit incites within us a sincere empathy, aligning our hearts with Jesus' paramount instruction to love God entirely and to extend that love to our neighbors. Influenced by the Holy Spirit, this compassion encompasses not only a profound affection for others, but also a sincere love for Jesus himself. A love that is authentic and transcends ritualistic practices, drawing us nearer to his essence and principles. This change signifies the Spirit's capacity to transform our desires and priorities, solidly grounding them in Christ. The seventh sign, speaking in tongues, was first observed on Pentecost. Acts 2, 4 recounts how all were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in various languages as the Spirit enabled them. This phenomenon was a hallmark of the early church, where believers, energized by the Spirit, expressed their faith in diverse yet harmonious manners. This gift of speaking in tongues remains a testament to the Spirit's enduring presence and power in believers' lives today. Continues to be a distinct manifestation of the Holy Spirit's dynamic presence in numerous believers' lives, acting as evidence of the Spirit's active engagement. Speaking in tongues represents a supernatural manifestation, highlighting the Spirit's profound work within us. It facilitates a direct communicative pathway between our Spirit and God. While the experience of speaking in tongues varies among individuals, it stands as a sincere indicator of the Spirit's abundant activity in our lives. If uncertainties about the Spirit's presence arise due to differing experiences, it's crucial to remember that spiritual journeys are not for comparison. Each individual's journey is unique and equally valid, serving as proof of the Spirit's constant activity in their life. Reflecting on personal experiences, like my initial encounter with speaking in tongues emerging from a dream, demonstrates that these spiritual manifestations have their own divinely timed occurrences. Many seek the Holy Spirit's guidance and request the gift of speaking in tongues as a mark of His presence. It's important to remain patient and refrain from drawing comparisons with others' experiences. Being open-hearted and receptive is all that's necessary, recognizing it as a gracious gift in a personal encounter. The eighth sign is the Holy Spirit's role in decision-making. Life presents us with crucial choices, each capable of significantly altering our trajectory. These decisions could mean the difference between life and death, success or failure, embracing an opportunity or overlooking it. Guided by the Holy Spirit, believers are not left to wander aimlessly or confront these pivotal moments in isolation. By attuning to the Holy Spirit's divine direction, clarity emerges, even amidst life's complexities. Romans 8.14 confirms this, stating, For those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God, offering assurance that the Spirit's guidance is a hallmark of divine sonship. The Holy Spirit acts as our navigational guide, imparting divine insight and wisdom. Reflect on the account of Paul and Silas in the Acts of the Apostles, who, when jailed for their evangelistic efforts, chose to sing praises to God rather than succumb to despair. Their worship led to a miraculous earthquake, opening the prison doors, not only securing their freedom, but also leading to the jailer's conversion. This example of divine guidance illuminates us with truth, indicates the correct path, and offers peace confirming our alignment with God's intent. The ninth sign involves biblical signs and wonders. Scripture is more than a historical record. It's evidence of God's ongoing power and the miracles stemming from faith. According to Mark 16, 17, 18, believers are promised that signs will accompany them, including exorcism, speaking new languages, safely handling serpents, immunity to poison, and healing the sick. These miraculous signs extend beyond the scriptural era as exemplified by Apostle Paul's experiences from his conversion on the Damascus Road to receiving sight after Ananias' prayer. 
highlighting God's unceasing, miraculous intervention. In contemporary times, believers continue to witness and enact to God's remarkable deeds, affirming the perpetuity of His promises and the constant influence of the Holy Spirit. The tenth sign is peace and faithfulness. Amid the turmoil and uncertainties life presents, believers have access to a profound serenity. Philippians 4. 7 reveals that God's peace, transcending all understanding, safeguards our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. This peace is not ephemeral or superficial, but a deep, lasting calm that steadies our spirit. Apostle Paul, even when imprisoned, exuded this peace through his epistles, offering encouragement and hope, thus showcasing the deep reservoir of tranquility available through the Holy Spirit, unaffected by external circumstances. This peace is sourced from the Holy Spirit, who persistently reminds us of God's infinite love and provision. In a fluctuating world where allegiances and opinions often shift, the Holy Spirit endows believers with a steadfast dedication to faithfulness. Should you find yourself grappling with maintaining fidelity, consider seeking the Holy Spirit's support to uphold your devotion to spiritual principles and values. Reflect on the notion that unfaithfulness towards others equates to disloyalty to God. By resisting the tempter, you compel him to retreat. The scripture in 2 Timothy 2.13 reassures us of God's unwavering faithfulness, even in our moments of faithlessness, highlighting that our capacity for steadfast commitment is not solely of our making, but a divine endowment. Consider Stephen, the inaugural Christian martyr who, amidst his stoning, Look towards heaven and witness Jesus at God's right hand. Rather than harboring resentment or fear, Stephen exemplified faithfulness, interceding for his aggressors. This profound allegiance to God's word, even amid severe trials, signifies the Holy Spirit's transformative influence, urging us to cling to divine assurances and boldly manifest our faith. It's comforting to realize that in our spiritual voyage, we're accompanied by a force that fosters our development, directs our journey, and embeds virtues mirroring Christ's essence. Let us welcome these manifestations with open hearts, trusting in God's design and intentions for our lives. As we progress, let's remain resolute, drawing from His boundless love and grace. With the Holy Spirit as our companion, we can approach the future with confidence, assured of being supported, steered, and cherished immeasurably. Recall, amidst the cacophony of competing voices, it's the Spirit's subtle promptings that navigate us through life's storms into divine solace. Let's not solely chase after signs, but aspire for a deeper communion with our Maker through the Holy Spirit's life-altering presence, transforming us to mirror Jesus more closely. In this intimate connection, we discover true purpose, peace, and the immense joy of journeying alongside the Sovereign. Hence, we ought to continuously nurture our relationship with the Holy Spirit, staying attuned to His daily counsel and impact. Now, as we engage in prayer, I encourage you to join in this supplication, to partake in the blessings it bestows. Let's pray to our benevolent and merciful Lord, acknowledging Him as the beginning and the end, the Creator of all. God, both of the seen and unseen realms, I honor You and dedicate all glory to You. You are the beacon of light and darkness offering solace to the disheartened and fortitude to the frail. Lord, I approach you today, desiring your sacred presence. I welcome your Holy Spirit into my existence. Manifest your divine presence in my life, O Lord. Holy Spirit, you are my aid and consoler. I pray for your filling, empowerment, guidance, and wisdom. Holy Spirit, I request a genuine transformation in my character. Imbue me with the fruits of your Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Lord, enable me to exhibit these transformations in my life, benefiting not only myself, but also those around me. May my heart resonate with your will and my deeds mirror your love. Father, in my quest to draw nearer to you, I relinquish my burdens and seek your direction. I am thankful that your Holy Spirit diverts me from sin and guides me towards your righteousness and mercy. Lord, let your Holy Spirit enrich my comprehension of the Scriptures. May your Word illuminate my soul, dispelling darkness from every facet of my being and leading me towards your truth. I seek empowerment, Lord, that through your Holy Spirit, I may serve as a conduit for your purpose.
extending love, compassion, and benevolence to others. Enable me to discern the subtle promptings of your Holy Spirit in my decisions, ensuring my actions align with your flawless will. Lord, as my faith deepens, let signs and miracles occur in my life that magnify your name. Guide me in understanding and embracing the gift of speaking in tongues for your sovereign ends. Father, may your Holy Spirit bestow upon me peace that transcends all understanding. Bless me with steadfast faith to endure trials, constantly adhering to your teachings and will. In Jesus' name, I counter every adversary that attempts to divert my path. Omnipotent Father, revered for your sovereignty over both the seen and unseen realms, I extol you and dedicate all glory to you. As a beacon in the darkness, you bring solace to the disheartened and fortitude to the feeble. Today, I approach you desiring your sacred presence and I welcome your Holy Spirit into my existence, beseeching you to make your divine presence palpable in my life. Holy Spirit, my advocate and solace, I pray for your infilling, empowerment, guidance, and wisdom. I implore you to instigate a genuine transformation within me, imbuing me with the fruits of your Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. I seek your assistance, Lord, to manifest these virtues in my life, not solely for my benefit, but to positively impact those around me. May my heart resonate with your will and my deeds reflect your benevolence. Father, in my pursuit of closeness to you, I surrender my burdens, yearning for your direction. I am thankful for the Holy Spirit's role in veering me from sin towards your righteousness and grace. I petition for your Holy Spirit to grant me a deeper grasp of the Scriptures to animate your word within me, illuminating every facet of my being and guiding me to your verity. I request empowerment, Lord, that through your Holy Spirit, I might serve as a conduit for your work, extending love, compassion, and kindness to others. Guide me in recognizing the subtle promptings of your Holy Spirit in decision-making, ensuring my actions align with your impeccable plan. As my faith matures, let miraculous signs materialize in my life, magnifying your name. Empower me to comprehend and utilize the gift of speaking in tongues, dedicating it to your celestial intents. Father, bestow upon me the peace that transcends all understanding and equip me with steadfast faithfulness to endure trials while adhering to your commands and will. In Jesus' name, I renounce any adversarial force that attempts to divert my path. I solicit your protective embrace, grateful for you being my refuge and fortress. Lord, you are my sanctuary. I proclaim that all circumstances are conspiring in my favor. Bless the endeavors of my hands and my movements. Shield me from malevolence, steer me away from temptation, and maintain my proximity to you. In Jesus' name, I affirm health and restoration over my being, banishing confusion, doubt, and fear. Thank you, Lord, for your supremacy over every hurdle I encounter. For my kin, I pray they intensify their pursuit of you, encountering your mercy, peace, love, and grace. May their lives echo the marvels of your generosity, finding shelter and solace in your embrace. For each individual opening their heart to you at this moment, may they be filled with your Holy Spirit, encountering your divine touch, comprehending your love, and realizing their purpose within you. For those feeling frail, Holy Spirit, grant them vigor and bravery. For the afflicted, be their comforter and restorer. Aid those ensnared by anxiety or turmoil, enveloping them in your peace and affection. For the perplexed or astray, Holy Spirit, lead them to all truths, serving as their guide and clarifier. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit accompany us all. I express gratitude to the Lord for attending to and responding to my supplication. In Jesus' name, I offer this prayer. Amen. If this message has touched you, I encourage you to acknowledge by commenting Amen below. I affirm that the blessings invoked through this prayer now encompass you in Jesus' name. Your participation in disseminating this message and extending the reach of the gospel is highly valued. By sharing this video with those in your circle who might benefit from this prayer, and by engaging with the content, you contribute to a wider spread of the gospel. Additionally, 
Subscribing to the channel will ensure access to more content designed to enrich your spiritual journey and elevate your spirit. Your support is immensely appreciated. And remember, you are blessed to be a conduit of blessing. Now, feel free to post your prayer requests in the comments section, allowing us to bring your petitions before God, seeking blessings and triumph in your life. We also encourage fellow believers on YouTube and globally to join in prayer for these requests. Please know that even if a direct response to your prayer request is not visible, your needs have been prayerfully considered. Be assured that every request is earnestly presented to God, aligning with His divine will. We hold firm in the belief that prayer wields the power to confer solace, healing, and direction, following God's impeccable design. Join us in steadfast faith as we intercede. To God be the entirety of praise and honor. May the grace and serenity of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.